Hi there again, it's Patrick with another instructional video. This particular one, even though I don't use OneCast anymore in my setup, I've had a number of people uh, comment on my Xbox to OneCast to Mac OBS um, video saying, I can't see OneCast. Uh, it's not popping up as an option when I do window capture. So I wanted to just go step by step and show you how I go about doing this. Uh, so maybe there's something along the way that uh, will help you out. Um, I, I'm not going to troubleshoot everybody's uh, setup, so your mileage may vary, but here's how I'm doing it. And I am able to get one cast as a window option, a window capture option in Max OBS. So this is all pertinent to Mac OS. Uh, first off, I've got my Xbox on and it's over here to my uh, left. And now I'm going to launch, oops, go over here. I'm going to launch uh, one cast. Here it is. Okay, and uh, just to be sure that we're all on the same page, I'm going to check for updates and see if uh, I'm running the latest version, which I am right now as of this recording. It's 1.14. Um, and as far as settings go, this is just the settings that I use. Again, your mileage may vary. This turned out to be the best one for me. Um, so I'm going to say connect. And I hear the Xbox go ping. And uh, yeah, there we go. So now we're streaming, and this is my one cast window. I'm going to park it over here uh, for the time being. Uh, and notice it's called one cast here, so that's what we'll be looking for when we go into our window sources. And now I'm going to drag over OBS, our friend OBS here, so that uh, you can see exactly how I'm going to do this. Now, uh, this particular scene is my cinema display. I have two displays, and this will be important in just a second. The cinema display is the one I use mainly. Uh, but I also have my laptop over here, which has another display. Now, what we're going to try to do is uh, just to this scene that we're currently in is I'm going to hit the plus sign and go down and say window capture. And then we'll call this um, uh, OC cap. Sure. How's that? Okay. And this can, this thing comes up and says, okay, what window do you want? Now I hit this notice. Oh my gosh, nothing's nothing's popped up. But if I look over at my laptop, here's the list of all the available um, things that I can I can capture a window for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this guy over here, and I'm we're, we're going to go to the laptop. So here's our laptop. Now watch what happens when I hit window. Boom. And one of the options here is one cast. So I'm going to say one cast, and Here's our thing here. Shows what's what's being captured from the OneCast window. Say OK. And meet me back over here at my cinema display. Now, notice that it's plopped the Xbox screen right on top of the, the main scene there. Here's a, 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 a tip for you as well. Take the Option key and crop out that top menu bar by just dragging that down. And then you can take that and snap it right on up into space. Now, here is your full Xbox screen ready to go. As you can see, it is actually active. And if you want to put your webcam on top of it, I can do that as well. I just go into here. There it is. Okay, so there it is. Typical streaming setup right there. I didn't crop too well on my uh, getting that top menu bar off of there, but you, you can fix yours up the way you want it. But that's how it's done. And uh, pardon the flashes, I think it's because I'm, I'm moving over my sources here, and so it's trying to select things and stuff like that. Um, but that's how it's done, as simple as that. Um, and I hope it works for you, and let me know if it still doesn't work for you, but that's how I do it on my Mac. And like I said, it's no longer my current setup, so I am using the Avermedia uh, capture for getting the Xbox video. But hey, for 20 bucks, this might be a great solution for you. Hope it works out. Thanks for watching. Bye now.